Christmas. I gave you my heart. But the very next day, you gave it... What's this? That's not the speech at all. Where's my script? May I have my script, please? Thank you. Yes, you see, that's not on the teleprompter. Sorry, shall we try again? <clears throat> Last Christmas, I tried a new approach to my traditional Christmas message. To show that we are evolving into a truly modern monarchy and one that understands the real people. That message was delivered in the style of the Christmas letter. Because we live in such rapidly changing times, it is only appropriate that I try yet another approach to this year's message. In the past 12 months, my husband and I tried our hands at social media. Philip became continually engrossed in his iPad, to the point of near marital breakdown. But when one has been married for 67 years and can afford multiple residences, one does not see the point of divorce. Whilst Philip played endless video games, and spent time in anonymous chat rooms, I, under a pseudonym, blogged, Facebooked and twat to my heart's delight. I became so much a part of the social media community that I have been nominated by my grandson Harry to take part in the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge. As it's Christmas, I can only feel that it is an appropriate time of year to support this worthy cause. I would therefore like to say that I will take on the challenge and I will also donate. It is only fair and fitting that I nominate three others to do the same. I therefore nominate Queen Sylvia of Sweden, Sarah, Duchess of York, and Dame Helen Mirren. And now, bring it on. Oh. Well, that wasn't bad at all.